really good. We're going to start with our sweet potato and I'm going to cook it the quick way in the microwave. I cut it in a bowl and I put a little water down in the bottom of the bowl and I'm going to put it in here and put it on six minutes. Well, the water's boiling underneath that potato. We're just going to peel this sweet potato and mash it up for our pie. Just get a large sweet potato. And then you're just going to take your fork and do a really good job of smashing it because you don't want um, big hunks of sweet potato in your pie. It's not pretty. It tastes pretty good, but it's not pretty. This is the quickest way to make a pie because you just, you know, stuck the pie, the potato in the microwave. It did take a few more minutes. So, I mean, it should not take over 10 minutes to get your potato soft, but make sure it's good and soft, okay? So you can make a pretty pie. We're going to put this potato in our mixing bowl. going to add a half stick of butter. That'll melt down in there and that help cool that potato down a little bit. We're going to put our eggs in last because this potato is hot and I don't want them scrambled. Okay. So just let your uh, butter melt. Put in three quarter cups of canned milk which is heavy cream whatever you whatever you have on hand use it and that came out of the refrigerator so it's cold so it will help my pie uh, my eggs not to be cooked but you don't want it so cold that your butter's not going to melt now if you got a uh, cold potato you need to melt your butter in the microwave but because I had more warm, I could let this melt in my bowl. Three quarter cup. Three eggs. teaspoon of cinnamon granny never did so that's optional but we like it and then a dash of salt we're going to mix this up and get it in our crust and get it in the oven it's a really good pie very fast and easy uh, something good to eat I out of them and then I also like them for pies. They're much better than frozen. Um, although, you know, I just don't like to take the time out to make a pie crust myself when, when these taste good. Okay. All right, we're gonna pour this in our crust and get it in the oven. Pies are the easiest dessert to make, in my opinion. Well, I had a little bit of butter that didn't melt, but that'll just make it taste good right in the middle. All right, we'll see you in 40 minutes when this comes out of the oven.
and it's still a little jiggly in my opinion see how it's puffed up around the edge that's how you know it's done it needs to be puffed up in the center as well and it's not so we're going to keep cooking it i did have the temperature turned down more in this oven now let me tell y'all see how that's puffed up around the edges do not take out your sweet potato pie until the center has puffed up as well i have personally seen a lot of sweet potato pies that people cook and they are not done they eat them and i'm sure it's okay but they'll be even better if you wait until the eggs actually turn into like a souffle puff the entire pie up even in the center before taking it out of your oven now look that center has risen and it is ready to come out of the oven looks good got the crust really brown but It'll be delish. It's still a little bit warm, but I want a piece. All right, let's get a bite. I'll let y'all see the color in it. It's nice and orange, and it's got some fibers from the sweet potatoes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's very good, it's nice and sweet. If you're a diabetic and you want to go lower on sugar, you could do it easily. If you got a good sweet potato, you could you could um, just about put a quarter cup to a half cup in there, and it'd be plenty sweet because this has got three quarters of a cup of sugar, and it's really sweet. Okay, it's really good. Thanks for watching. Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.